All right, I will call the Community Development Authority meeting for May 19th to order. Mr. Uh, Executive Director, please call the roll. Mayor Olson. Here. Member Holfer. Here. Member Solomon. Here. Member Burkhart. Here. We have a quorum. And Member Cool. Member Cool is not present. We have a quorum. I have appointed a new member, but he won't start until next meeting. Uh, with that uh, rising join the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Assistance comment period. Any citizen wishing to speak on any matter before the CDA, please rise, come forward, give us your name and address. Anyone wishing to speak? Seeing no one rise, I'll close the assistance comment period. Uh, next item is approval of the January 20th uh, re uh, regular meeting. Any additions or corrections? Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. You're voting. And the mayor votes to affect the outcome, and I vote aye. Uh, business matters item A is an application for a wall sign for a uh, Ozinga Ready Mix concrete. The item is in your packet, Miss X. Thank you, Mayor. So this is um, a request for approval of a wall sign for um, Ozinga at 5129 West Franklin Drive. Um, the applicant submitted this review for an illuminated wall sign in the Franklin Park. Um, the sign would be attached to the east facade of the building and have a face of approximately um, 48.25 square feet. It meets the requirements of the PDD in all aspects, um, and the applicant is here seeking your approval. Questions for the staff? Is there a motion regarding this? Move to approve. A motion to approve, adopt a resolution approving wall sign and refractory refacing of an external monument sign for Ozinga. It's been moved by Alderman Hofer. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Burkhart. Questions? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Favor the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And the motion, uh, the mayor votes aye. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Go, go forth and sign. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, item B on the agenda is application for PDD 18 ordinance tenant. If fit, essentially this gives staff the approval rights on what we just did. Mr. Martinez. Yep. Good evening, Mayor. Uh, so just as um, the application from the Singa was presented. I uh, would like to explain that the uh, sign review process in the business part is a two step. So the first step is what we call the sign review that we just saw for Osinga. So they apply, the staff review the application, and then it goes before the CDA for approval. After that, the applicant will need to file for a sign permit. And the staff will review again, review again. So. It's a cumbersome process, so the staff is proposing to remove the first step, the sign review, so it will not go before the CDA, it will go directly to, through a staff by the sign permit process. There's a separate approval, that is the Franklin Business Park Review Board, that is a non-city process that will remain in place. Questions for staff? Commissioner Song. In the... Uh Anyway, in the uh, UDO, this new paragraph, can you tell me which paragraph the new ordinance states, and I agree with what you're saying here a thousand percent, percent, don't get me wrong. I just hope that the ordinance isn't misinterpreted uh, 10 years from now that the board of review from the business park doesn't have pre-approval options because I don't know what you know understand what I say what I'm saying Mr. City Attorney maybe the, um, that right
Okay. For the business part. So it appears somewhere else other than this document. Could add a line in here. I know when, whenever I, I looked at staff work product, et cetera, I think it's on the public hearing notice, hearing before the plan commission, I added a line in there stating that the Franklin Business Park Review Board will retain its authority for separate And that review. was what we had discussed previously. I understand that, but it's, I don't know if there's you want to add it in there? Uh, you got a, maybe just a sentence that it's pre-approved by the review board from the uh, Business Association? Just to confirm what uh, city attorney says that uh, in, the, uh, in the public hearing notice, there's a uh, sentence that said the Franklin Business Park Review Board signed permits review authority shall remain in place. Okay. Where is it? In the public hearing notice. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I just said. Yeah. Okay. But it's not in the actual ordinance. It's not in this ordinance. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. So could it be open for interpretation without a sentence? Or? Well, it's two separate binding documents. You want to add a sentence? You can add a sentence. Recommend it anyway. We'll add the same sentence uh, akin to what's in the uh, public hearing notice. Okay. So I'll offer the following motion. I have one question first. Uh, Commissioner, uh, Alderman Hope for... So I'm assuming that this wouldn't change I got it. this wouldn't change any review process as far as like except or if 10 years down the road because of changes in technology and things they wanted to update the standards we would not be involved in that but that wouldn't really impact us by not being involved I mean I take a look like like now you got LEDs and people are saying this is too late and all this other kind of, if, if down the road somebody proposes changes to the sign ordinance, where would that go? Would that go direct through you and just bypass us, or, which would be okay with me, but. Caesar. All the standards are in the code, correct? Correct. It's a, a code amendment. It always would have to go to the council. Of the plan development. If a, if a sign uh, does not comply with the standards of the code and they need like a variance or like an exception, it will still go before this. It will still go before the CDA. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That, that, was, that was my question. Is there a motion to recommend <coughs> approval in ordinance to amend the plan development district 18 as it pertains to administration of the sign permit with inclusion of one sentence? Referencing seeing the uh, business review board uh, approvals as remaining so in place. Second. Second. Uh, Alderman, Sol Alderman, Alderman Solomon and Alderman Holfer. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. At that. Uh, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. The mayor votes aye. Motion carries. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So Burkhardt, Burkhardt and Holfer. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Mayor. Mayor votes aye. Uh,